All right. Um, see the question about like true martial arts and their diets, um, and what they eat. You know, the question is: Do true martial artists have good diets all the time, or do they eat junk food sometimes? Um, my view on diets is: I don't really believe in diets. Diets to me is something where it's like temporary. It's like you're just going through something temporary to reach a certain goal, and then that's it. And then you just go back to your normal eating habits. I believe like in a complete lifestyle change where you just change your entire life. Like your, your way of eating, your way of exercise, just everything. And it just becomes a part of you. It's not a diet. It's not something that's short term. It's not just something that you do for now. But it's something that you do for your entire life. So that's, that's the way that I see it. I see that true martial artists basically have good eating habits. Um, it's just a part of them. It's not a diet. Um, um, so he's saying, do you get lazy and eat junk food once in a while? I mean, junk food is a part of my lifestyle. I mean, some of it. I mean, it's, I don't really see that it's practical to just not eat junk food at all. I mean, another thing is you got to think to yourself, what is considered junk food? And that's another thing that comes into play. I mean, junk food, what is the definition of junk food? I mean, because essentially, junk food, somebody that, that really eats like very healthy could consider everything that's not organic to be junk food. You know, somebody could say hamburger is a junk food, but hamburgers are junk food. But if the hamburger is made of like quality beef, it's like 100% beef and it's like, lean beef, then it's not, in my eyes, it's not junk food. Some people could say hot dogs are junk food, but if hot dogs are made of like quality meat and it doesn't really have all the, like it's organic meat or something like that, or it's like turkey, turkey, um, like turkey franks that are like quality, then to me it's not junk food. You know, some people say, oh, potato chips are junk food, but Depending on the quality of the potato chips, it may not be that bad for you. Some people could say, oh, pizza is junk food. But depending on the quality of the pizza, it may not be junk food in my eyes. So really, I, th I see that like a martial artist eats higher quality foods. And then sometimes he eats like the low quality once in a while. But it's not like that low quality. You know, I mean, I eat chips, like, for example, sometimes. But it's not, like, a, an immense amount. It's not like I eat a whole bag of chips. It might be, like, a few chips, and that's it. But even the chips that I eat, they're not that unhealthy. I mean, if you look at the nutrition facts, for example, of, say, like, Ruffles. I was eating it the other day, some of it. It has a lot of fat. But most of the fat is like polyunsaturated and unsaturated. It's not like saturated fat, so that's a good thing. Um, it also even had some vit had some vitamins in there, you know. And um, I don't drink pop at all. That's just something that I just don't drink. Um, so I decided to eliminate that completely. But I do eat chips sometimes, you know. Um, chocolate. I eat chocolate sometimes. I snack on chocolate sometimes, but I don't eat like an immense amount. I don't eat like a whole like bag full of M&Ms. I eat like maybe like a few of them every so often. Or I'll just get some chocolate from like like a, a bar of chocolate and I just might eat like um, two squares or something. I'm not going to eat the whole bar of chocolate in one sitting. I don't, I don't ever do that. You know, I don't really eat much of burgers or hot dogs. I don't, I don't really eat that type of stuff. But I do eat like a lot of uh, lean meats, like a lot of lean steaks and lean chicken and fish. Um, I do eat ice cream sometimes. You know, that could be considered that that's considered junk food in most people's eyes. But um, I might eat like a, a like a hundred percent like. 100% fruit ice cream bar where it's like mostly fruit or I'm, I'll eat like a 
I'll compare different ice creams and try to get the ice cream that's not as fattening. You know, that basically there's like sugar cravings that the body has and I feel that it's okay to eat that stuff sometimes, but not all the time. And also there's also different varieties. I mean, not there's some ice creams that are a lot worse for you than others. So I'd say just choose the ice cream that's not as bad for you. You know, so... So like I said, you know, I mean, I'll try to snack on healthier things. I noticed that the body craves for sugars. So a lot of times, instead of snacking on, on all this candy, sometimes it's just, it's a lot better to just eat an apple or to eat some grapes or eat some strawberries. I mean, you got to try to find alternative snacks that are healthier for you. That's what I see. So he said he's watching YouTube and pro athletes don't have the best diets. Um, they just burn a lot of calories and they t to stay in shape. But it catches up with them when they retire and they don't work out as much. And I see that that's part of the problem is that they're not truly, they're not truly disciplined. You know, a truly disciplined person is not just disciplined with his exercises and his workout routine, but he's also disciplined with his um, his discipline on the dinner table and in his eating habits. So it's just a lifestyle. They're not truly complete if all they do is they eat like crap and they work out a lot. They're not complete in their development. Um, it's like somebody that works out a lot but then they drink alcohol. You know, I mean, it's it's contradicting to you know his aim of like ultimate health or people that work out a lot but then they they, they take drugs I mean it's contradicting to their their overall development towards like ultimate health so I see that a true martial artist should be disciplined not just in the actual workout but also with the way that he eats and what he decides to put inside his body no matter be alcohol or drugs or whatever the case may be um, I don't believe a true martial artist should be you know taking drugs I don't think he should be drinking alcohol. Um, I don't think he should be smoking. And I don't, I don't think he should be eating junk food in excess. He should be eating quality foods. Um, that's the way that I see it. You know, I mean, um, these athletes, I think a lot of them also are on steroids. And there is a, a, you know, a doctor that was on one of these steroid documentaries that I just saw the other day where he said that people could be eating like junk and eating like crap and just barely work out but if, they, if they're strung up on steroids they're gonna be like highly fit so I mean I think some of these pro athletes are on steroids and that's why they can eat whatever they want to eat because they're on steroids and they still have like crazy muscles because they're on steroids so I mean um, I don't I don't agree to that I don't advise that and I, I, I promote people to eat healthy and to turn it into a lifestyle. Second question is, since women burn calories different than men, do women have to eat more healthy and exercise more? Um, since they burn calories different than men, do they have to eat more healthy and exercise more? I mean, I've, I believe that women... They should be exercising. I mean, it's not just women, but even men too. But say you're a smaller guy like myself. I see that you need to train even harder and you need to even eat healthier in order to have an edge over the people that are bigger than you. So it's the same thing if I'm a woman. A woman just naturally is going to be weaker than a man, genetically or whatever the case may be. That means she needs to work extra hard in order to have an edge over the man. Otherwise, it's like, it's almost like a man that works out naturally compared against a guy that's, a, a man that's on steroids. The guy that works out naturally is going to have to work out much harder in order to even be at the same level as the person that's on steroids. So... Basically, women do have to work out harder and they have to eat even better if they want to have a, an advantage over the man. Otherwise, there, there's, no, there's no chance because they were born um, with genetics that just made, makes it harder for them. 
So it's not just women, but men as well, just people in general. If you're born with bad genetics, your parents are, are overweight, then you're going to have to work out a lot harder. You're going to have to eat a lot better in order to be fit and healthy. That's just the nature of it. I mean, being a small person, I'm going to have to work a million times harder than somebody that's born tall in the game of basketball because they have they have an advantage from being tall in the game of basketball, whereas I don't. So I think it's the same thing, um, not just women but men as well, that are born at a disadvantage. You need to, no matter if you're born like, with genetics, you know, that pre, that, you know, you're born with genetics that, that make it likely for you to be overweight, or you're born with genetics that are, you know, make you more, you know, weak, you know, then you're going to have to work out a lot harder, and you're going to have to eat healthier. So not everybody begins at the equal, basically. No, not everybody be begins equal. People were, are born with certain advantages and disadvantages, and you need, to, you know, you need to work harder than the next person who are born with advantages. So it's the same thing economically. I mean, you're born if your parents are rich, you're born rich. You don't have to work as hard. But if your parents are poor and you want to become rich, you're gonna to have to work a lot harder in order to get yourself out of poverty. So it's the same thing with the physical. You know, I mean, you're born with a disadvantage. Then you have to work out a lot harder. You're gonna to have to work a lot harder in order to, in order to pair up to the next person that was not born with that disadvantage. So, that's my feedback.